Hello there, nibblings. I'm Faye. And I'm Eklanar. Let's play Star Wars The Old Republic, episode 60. So, uh, Kira? She's trapped. Kira? Free her! Kira? Um, Kira, oh, did she's you... she's really trapped in there, isn't did she? Did you become a joiner while I was turning in quests? And uploading videos to YouTube. Yep, yeah, she's she's uh, she's, she's in really there. She's stuck in there. Yeah. I think probably if you get far enough away, she'll like teleport to you. Yeah. Also, if you get on your speeder. Oh right, she'll yeah. she'll despawn. If you get on your speeder. Yeah. Uh, all right, so. We've got to go to the pain factory. Aww. That's yeah. so upsetting. Um, that's for that's the one both of us have, right? Yeah. Yeah. The planet quest. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Personally, I think that. The, the companions should just be like piggyback on you when you're riding your speeder. I mean, it is a Star Wars tradition. Piggyback rides. Is it? Well, I mean, the real Star Wars tradition would be if Kira rode on the speeder and then I rode on her back. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. We're not in a group. Oh, might want to fix that. I accept. I was wondering why I couldn't see you on my mini map. Okay, it looks like it's in this compound here. Okay. So we need to get inside. Uh, so I think we can sneak between these groups here, and then we'll have to fight our way through the one at the entrance. All right, ready. Uh-huh. All right. Where did that one come from? doesn't matter. You dispatched it. Baldar dispatched it. Alright. Thanks, Baldar. Where'd you go? There you are. There's the door up here. Oh, that sloshy mud sound. I forgot about that. Uh, this one's... I'm, I'm here in snow. Well, now you are, because you're ahead of me. Oh, you went through something else. There was some this sloshy is... mud on the... over there. This is a pretty realistic snow sound. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's like a wet snow, you know? Which yeah, is the kind of snow that we get where I live. It's... it's crunchy. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. It's a crispy noise. The Pain Factory. That's such an ominous name. Oh, yeah, let me do my little... Alright, uh, well, our quest marker is just in... Oh, there it goes. Find the control room. Okay, so... This way. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah! 
looks like we don't need to take out any extra groups to get the bonus. Honestly, we don't need bonuses all that much. Oh, we missed an explodey barrel. Okay. Checking for explodey barrels? No. I was looking to see what this pathing guy was doing. I thought he was going to path into that group back there, but... Here. Well, only five people. Hey, let me do a flash grenade. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Can you see who's blind? Yeah. Okay. Well, come back here. pushed that one and then she like spent some time running around on top of some of these containers <laughs> all right I still haven't gotten uh, a good area to use my force push Aww. Intruders! Alert base and assume battle positions. Retarget the torture droids. Release the Killix if you have to. We can take the enemy's very best. You've done enough already. I won't let you hurt anyone else. You don't know anything about this, Jedi. And you're never going to learn. For House Ugo! For the Crown! we get? Uh, it's a companion gift for me. Oh geez, my inventory's full. Ah. Uh, oh, we've got droids to blow up. Kira, I could use your help. Wait, is Kira on passive? Has Kira been on passive this whole time? I think she has. I honestly didn't notice. Where'd Baldar go? I sent him to get rid of some of my items. Ah. 
there. He just came back. Hey, come over here. Over here. Whoa. Yeah, do the thing. Do the thing. If it isn't my favorite strike team, tell me you found the Algo Pain Factory. You've got quite a setup. Looks like the Elgos were here a while. Elgos going to have a hard time riling up the Killix now. Gives us breathing room. Of course, it'd be a shame to let all that tech go to waste. But Elgo learned a few things about the bugs. The Killix are living creatures. There's nothing to learn from this sort of brutality. The Killix are animals. Smart, but not that smart. I might be able to replicate the Elgo experiments. Bring the Killix onto our side. See if you can salvage the data and equipment. Nope. Sorry, but I can't let someone else torture a sentient life form. You don't think of anyone but yourself. Fine. <laughs> you should get out of there. Meet me at the command post for a no. debrief. I think that's what you were doing. That's not that's not what that phrase yeah, means. That's, that's not how that works at all. I was I was literally thinking of people besides myself, lady. Are you telling me that having morals is selfish now? Is that what this is about? I guess so. Not wanting to torture something that has feelings is selfish? Seems a little skewed, but okay. Wait, where are we going? Oh, we're just- let's Out? just quick travel back to the outpost. Okay. Uh, Duval. Ward post Duval? Yeah. The strike team destroyed the Elgo facility. Killick attacks have fallen by 40% already. It seems putting you in charge was the right decision after all. Thank you, sir. And this must be your strike team. Always a pleasure to see you. Waiting on group members. Sorry. Now that the Killix are dealt with, what's next? But then, then we strike at House Ulgo itself. Thanks to all of you. I know we had our differences, but I'm willing to bury them. I've got battle plans to draw and a lot of Stimcalf to drink. I hope everything goes well. Be careful. You too. This war is no good for any of us, and it's a long way from over. Arm guards. It's only giving me one reward to select again. These are worse than what I'm already wearing, so... Oh, mine were better. I do kind of... Uh... I kind of like the way they look a little better, though. Let me keep them for the cosmetic. I'll see. I still don't really like the, my gloves. Um, all right. I have a droid foot in my inventory. <laughs> Your inventory really is full. 
I have you should probably do something. I about accidentally that. opened this like package of pilot gear. Ah. So it's taking up a bunch of space. Okay. So I need to get to like a personal vault or something. Yeah. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Right. Let's travel to Threnta. Is that where you need to go? Or you need to go somewhere else. Thranta? Um, no, ward post Landa Thranta is where I need to go. You need to go there and I need to go. Okay, well, let's go to yours first. Okay. Because mine's real close. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Ooh. The... The, the, the sky, sky space fish horse. Yeah, exactly. The... Or was it Space Sky Horsefish? You know, either works. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a good screenshot here. Ooh, that's that's a good one right there. I'm good. They are very cool. Oh, that's neat, that building on our right. Oh, pretty. House Alda. Do you like the noises they make? The little flat, flat noises? <gasps> No, they also make this like gurgly noise. I heard like a dolphin noise. Yeah, it's kind of like that. All right. Um, we got somebody to talk to here. Okay. Well, you got somebody to talk to. I might not be able to. Listen oh to yeah, it's it's the person I need to talk to. No. Wait, this no. Is, this is just yeah. a this is a story mission. All ghost forces are advancing, Lieutenant. You will hold that outpost. No excuses. Crescent out. Skies above. You bunch are a welcome sight. Major Crescent, First Organa Regiment. I'm in charge of holding this area against the usurper who calls himself King Ulgo. I'll do whatever I can to aid House Organa's cause. Good. I'm in desperate need of your assistance. All my forces are committed to holding back Ulgo's army, but an important mission has just come up. I need volunteers to invade an enemy stronghold and rescue one of my people. I can't help unless you tell me everything, Major. It's my daughter, Andra. She's been captured. Against my express wishes, she infiltrated the Ulgo's posing as a lowly servant girl. She thinks she's some kind of hero. A reckless little fool. Your daughter is trying to help. What's wrong with that? She's not a spy. She's a girl with delusions of heroism. Two days ago, Andra transmitted an emergency alert. Ulgo jammed the frequency before she could reveal any information. I feared the worst. Until my scouts picked up a distress call earlier today. It's a signal from Andra. She's alive. Anybody who causes this much trouble deserves <laughs> to be rescued. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't encourage her behavior. I've already lost Andra's mother and brothers to this war. If you save her, this recklessness must end. She won't listen to me, but you might convince her to abandon her foolishness. I'll reward you for that favor. One mission objective at a time, Major. Yes, of course. Andra's signal came from the estate of House Wrist, not far from here. That filth Ulgo must have turned my daughter over to the Wrist assassins for torture. Are Wrist and Ulgo allies? They support Ulgo's claim to the throne. In return, he pays them to do his dirty work. Assassinations, torture, sabotage. Please get Andra away from those filthy killers. Good luck. All right. Okay. Um, so that's to the north. Um, 
I'm gonna do our class missions first. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh, mine is. No, oh, yours is to the east. Wait. Yeah, yours is to the east. Uh huh. Where's mine? That one's mine, I guess. So yours is to the north. Mine's near the story mission. Yeah, so let's go to yours. Okay. Um, now, did the did the taxi take us to? Vehicle pads are currently open for business. The taxi takes us to closer to yours, right? Yeah. You can take the taxi. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I need to. I don't think you're close enough. There we go. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Alright. More sky, sky space, space fish, fish horse. horse. Yeah. Ooh, this is good. Let's see if I can get a screenshot here. This is a gorgeous planet. Yeah, it's so Alderaan is oh god, some graphical glitches there. Alderaan's so beautiful, you'd uh, you'd think that people would preserve this beauty forever and ever. <sighs> you'd think. <laughs> Check out these speeders. When do we get speeders like that? Instead of speeder, speeders we have to enough. hang off the back of. I know, that's so awkward. <laughs> Well, it looks like your thing is right here. Yeah. It's real close. Yeah. So, come on in. <laughs> You're still on your... Oh, there you go. Okay, in here. Hello. Guided tours of House Alder's Royal Museum are closed until further notice. I have nothing against off-world visitors, but please leave, or I'll be forced to call security. Do you want this head in a jar or not? I most certainly do not. Get that disgusting thing out of my sight. I mean, really, what sort of buffoon brings a counterfeit head and expects payment? House Alder has already obtained the head of Darth Bandon, thank you very much. It was genetically authenticated by one of my conservators yesterday. Darth Bandon. Do I know that name? I don't know. Maybe this Darth Bandon had two heads. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is obviously a forgery. Cadreth? Cadreth, come here. Yes, noble curator. How may I serve your impeccable rectitude? Where is Neva? I want her to run the genetic authenticator on this head and prove it's a fake. I haven't seen Neva since she authenticated the other head yesterday, noble curator. I sent a message to her holo, but she never replied. I need you to test this head for me, Cadreth. I'd really rather not. It's quite ugly. Cadreth, perform a genetic authentication on this head at once. Compare the results to the head we received yesterday. I beg your patience, noble curator. This process will take some time. I'm afraid we have what a, weird a slight problem. This head is a 100% genetic match for the Sith Lord Darth <gasps> Bandit. I retested the head Neva verified yesterday, and it does not appear anywhere in the Genetic Authenticator's database. Hmm. Tell me who delivered that fake head. The same man who promised he could obtain it. Captain Skavik, this is Noble Curator Pima Ehoff speaking. Oh. I demand that you return the Arcanian hyperdrive at once. The head you bought it with is a counterfeit. Oh, sorry, Pimi. I have a strict no refunds policy. Hey, Captain. You're a little late to the party. Oh, 
Where'd you dig up a counterfeit head, Skavik? On a battlefield, where else? People buy anything if the case is fancy enough. Hope you don't mind, Beanie, but Nava's taking an early retirement. She's too gorgeous for life in a museum. What? You... You... Menace! You corrupted that girl! Wasn't that hard, trust me. <laughs> whoa, 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 easy there, Scruffy. I see your taste in friends hasn't improved, Captain. At least I have friends. Ooh, that hurts. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep on that bed of credits I'll get from Noctrian's treasure. <laughs> Wish I had a hollow of your face right now, Captain. That expression is just priceless. Have fun eating my vapor trails. This is unthinkable. Skavik has committed a grievous affront to a householder. Send some guards after him, fast! I'll inform House Organa's spaceport security, but I can't guarantee they will intervene. Skavik received the Arcanian hyperdrive at the spaceport yesterday. If he's still there, he must not have finished installing it. Skavik cannot leave Alderaan without a functioning hyperdrive. Hurry, catch him before he escapes! Be taking my head with me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what a what a weird, uh, a weird little interaction. All right. I don't say. What's this? Uh, what's this bonus objective you have? Hijack the Alda Speeder. What? Yeah. Hang on, I got stuck on the geometry. Where's the speeder? It's out here. Kira was standing on it. Because <laughs> she likes to stand on things. Okay, I'm hijacking it. Okay. Are you coming with me? Can you also hijack it? No. Okay. Where is it taking you? I don't know. I think it's taking me to the spaceport. Oh, yeah, you just sped off. Okay, well, uh... That's... It's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's taking you to, to the spaceport. Oh, I'm going through the river now. That's cool. Um. Okay, now I'm at the Alaskan lowlands. Uh, all right, I'm gonna um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your objective is the spaceport. So. I will quick travel to the spaceport. Yay. All right. Just got to wait for you to get here. Yeah, you're not showing up on the map anywhere. I'm... I'm coming. I just thought it was a little weird that you aren't showing up on the map. Oh. I think that's you right there. Yep, that's you. That's me. Here I am. All right. Okay, where's my objective? Is it? It's in the build. It's in the space. Oh, part. it's right here. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like there's a hangar we go to. Okay. Zoomed out. Oh, now I'm all zoomed in. It's not upstairs, is it? Nope. Okay. You can just jump off the edge. It's not that far. Okay. Oh, elevator. Come on in. Elevator time! Oh! We got some oh, okay. uh, people to fight. Well, look who's over here. Wh who? Where? Oh, you started the fight. Sorry. Feel my force! 
Uh, yeah, come over here, look who it is. Uh... <laughs> he just waved at you. Whoa! What? It was Skavik. No! Oh, did you hear that? Hear what? You didn't just hear a ship taking off? Uh, I did. Have to override a hangar lock Why am I like on fire? Well, the enemies must have set you on fire. <clears throat> okay. You didn't waste any time, did you, Captain? Bet you ran quicker than a Veractal on hot sand. Not that it mattered. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but my sweet little Neva is very sensitive to violence. Don't worry, though. My friends here will show you a good time. You too, Baldar. Waiting on group members. What's wrong? Afraid to face me yourself? Uh, it's just... This way, I can watch you get slaughtered from every conceivable angle. Isn't technology wonderful? Captain, say hello to Sergeant Detonian and his men. They were working freelance for the houses, but now they work for me. <sighs> the sergeant has graciously accepted my contract. On very short notice, I might add, to vaporize you. I'm giving you mercenaries one chance to surrender. Gavik didn't tell us you were crazy. We should have charged extra. Once you're buried, I'll pay my respects to Risha and collect what's mine. Goodbye, Captain. Hit it, men! Get a screenshot with the Skavik hologram. Yes, we should. Oh. <clears throat> do you want to do that now? Yep. Okay. You already want me, like, here? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I think I got one. Go ahead. Okay. You're either the luckiest shot in the galaxy, or those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. <sighs> I guess I'll erase this hollow recording. At least send me a copy of that hollow first. What? For your scrapbook? <laughs> I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. Take good care of the rest of my stuff, Captain. I'll be coming for it soon. Just find out what's happening. Sorry I'm late. The good news is, I tracked Skavik's ship to House Thule's spaceport. 
He must have gone there to finish installing that hyperdrive. There's still time to get him. Is Skabik a fast mechanic? He's handier with words than he is with a hydro spanner. The Empire controls House Thule. Skavik has landing clearance from the Imperials, but you'll have to sneak in on foot. Luckily, someone here owes me a big favor. I've arranged a meeting to sneak you inside that spaceport and get the hyperdrive. I can't wait to see the look on Skavik's face when I show up. Bring me back a hollow, and I'll broadcast it. My contact is at these coordinates. Oh, and there may be a way we can profit from this whole debacle. House Alda still wants the head. That pompous gas bag Pima Ehuf will probably pay anything to get it. I'll see what he has to say. He was willing to give up a custom-built Arcanian hyperdrive for that head. I suspect he'll say a lot. Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting. I like her hairdo. <laughs> That's real cute. It's very 90s. Like 90s TV, not like 90s real life. No one in real life walked around with that hairdo in the 90s. No. Well, I got a pants upgrade. But I don't have any room for it in my inventory. <laughs> right. Well, we gotta wrap up this episode. Okay. So, uh, tune in next time. And uh, we'll see where uh, where Kel Jax's missions uh, take us, but we may end up going back to where we were and doing those missions first. I'm gonna give Skavik a piece of my blaster. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright. Force be with you, nibblings.